The Himalayas have always been a beautiful road trip destination. Epic mountains, great roads, breathtaking landscapes and plenty of wildlife. But the Himalayas in the north? That's done and dusted. This is the northeast. We're driving from Guwahati to Tawang with 13 Harriers and Safaris. We'll be exploring wildlife sanctuaries and high mountain passes as we traverse the plains of Assam and the Himalayas of Arunachal Pradesh. This is the Tata Soul iconic Northeast Drive. I'm Anand Mohan. You're watching Evo India. So let's get this adventure started. Completing our drive from Guwahati to Kaziranga was fairly easy. The roads were good, with some bad patches but the harriers and safaris handled everything like a champ. Kaziranga is famous for the single horned rhino and we spotted plenty in the wildlife sanctuary. We also had the Kaziranga edition Harrier join us all the way from Orissa for the drive. Because he says that he has come to his house. And I am also excited to go ahead for this uh, Tawang because it will be a good terrain and we will be very happy to ride. And probably this will be my first ride on mountains also. Our initial plan was to drive to Nameri National Park, but the rains blocked some of the roads and so we had to improvise with a drive to the Brahmaputra, followed by a boat ride to spot some freshwater dolphins. As it turned out, the dolphins were too shy to make an appearance for the cameras. The highlight of this day was the whole convoy crossing the 3 km long Kalia Bhomra bridge built over the Brahmaputra river. This is my second uh, Seoul Iconic Drive and wonderful terrain, wonderful places we have visited, totally loving it. The best part of this entire drive is the car that we are driving right now. It has accompanied us in all type of terrains, the flat plateau, the roads where it has a lot of slash, without an issue it performed absolutely fine. We never felt that we were lo losing the traction or we were missing the road. We, we drove in an area where it was running water. Full control of the car, superb drive experience. The Northeast is so unpredictable. While we were in Nameri, we received the news of there being a landslide on our route to Dirang. And so we had to take a longer alternate route through Tezpur, which extended our drive time to 12 hours. We felt very safe in this journey. This is the best thing. If we are in trouble, we know somebody is there to look after. So the, the convoy worked very well. Everything was excellent by far. The car experience has been really good and PC d drove this car first time and he's inclined now. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, it just takes all the rough roads so easily without any discomfort to the passengers inside. That's right. It has been really smooth sailing all through. The landscape on the way to Dirang is absolutely stunning and the roads in parts are butter smooth as they snake up the Himalayas. But you've got to keep an eye out for stones rolling down the mountain slopes. It can get tricky. From behind the wheel though, 
these SUVs inspire a lot of confidence to stop you from worrying about the weather or the hostility of the landscape. These SUVs, they feel safe, sturdy and planted. You can hustle the Harriers and Safaris up here and it's a lot of fun. The drive has been a fabulous 3000 kilometers long drive we had. The car is an amazing car. Nobody can beat a Tata vehicle suspension and Safari is probably the probably the best car on Indian roads as of now. As you drive up to Dirang and leave the plains of Assam behind, altitude puts your vehicles to a test. The punchy motors of our SUV convoy though ensured that the drive was effortless in the twisties. You know you're in a safe car even when you're going through rough patches of roads. You know your car is a solid one and you are in a safe place and you will reach your destination safe and sound. I always believe that uh, the highlight of every trip, every such trip is the people. We get to know more people and not to forget the places, new places, scenes, beauty of it. Yeah, and I am liking the convoy experience. You know, it's not like you're on your own and you're just taking the vehicle. The terrain is tough. We're gaining some good height uh, and, and, and it's beautiful, you know. This is Himalaya, so the beauty is huge and uh, the experience is amazing. keep harping about the thrill of driving on Evo India. There are four enthusiasts here who have driven their own SUVs, their own Harriers and Safaris all the way from their hometown. One is from Chennai, one is from Nagpur, one is from Ghaziabad and the other one from Bhubaneswar. They've driven all the way to Guwahati, join the drive, they get back to Guwahati with this entire convoy and then they head back home which is almost a month on the road. That's proper thrill of driving that we keep talking about. Let's hear something that they have to say about the experience on this iconic Northeast drive. Yeah, it has been a very good experience. We have done a lot of trips on the west coast, but uh, east or northeast I've never done. It's because it's a myth that uh, the roads are not good or it's not safe beyond Andhra Pradesh. So it was a very new experience for us. The roads were amazing and the long drive was a completely new experience for us. Different places every night and different food every night. It was nice, it was very good. We enjoyed the drive and more of a nature and the atmosphere. These are the good roads, but prior to this I had been to Ladakh, then Uttarakhand. So I have driven this car even on a bad roads. Actually, where there are no roads at all and the car is performing excellently, excellent. How these SUVs have been great enablers on this journey can only be seen towards the end of the drive. The smiles on the faces of all the participants says it all. Good road trips happen only when your car is up for the challenge as much as you are. And boy are these SUVs capable. From strong engines to sorted suspension and comfort and safety packaged so well, the participants could push themselves through the adventure because they knew the cars they were driving had their back. In fact, from uh, Kaziranga to Nameri, the roads were excellent, but then from Nameri to Dirang, the shorter route was washed out because of a landslide. Uh, several landslides and there was heavy rain. And so we had to take the longer route via Shergaon, which took the total drive to about 10 hours. Uh, but none of the participants are tired now. We are on our way to uh, Tawang, which is a, a steep climb. You, you got to cross Sela Pass, which is at 13,200 feet and uh, then you, you reach uh, Tawang which is around 10,000 feet. So the climb is quite steep and the road isn't great. Uh, but these Harriers and Safaris take everything you throw at them. 
so yeah a, a 13 suv convoy uh, driving on these roads uh, they just they just do it quite easily first time experience for us driving on the mountains uh, really it was very good mera convoy ka pehla experience hai aur mujhe bahut maza aa raha hai no drive after driving the car for so long it's been around i think 1500 kilometers for the drive uh, there's not a single niggle or a noise or anything of that so it's in the same condition that i started the drive with so great my experience with the drive so far has been excellent and uh, very smooth drive it is going for tata name itself is uh, means it gives you a sense of safety so this is just our family member only my harrier my family member tata nami kafi as we drove from dirang to tawang and towards the bumla pass the next day the altitude started rising rapidly and the air thinned around us but nothing could calm us down like the breathtaking views visible from behind the wheel bumla pass situated at 15200 feet above sea level is one of the four border personnel meeting points between the indian army and the people's liberation army of china Oh, the northeast it's beautiful everywhere you look and tourism hasn't overwhelmed this place yet these roads are great for enthusiasts but you've got to have the right car for the journey and we chose the perfect set of wheels for the job to drive all the way from assam to the freezing peaks of arunachal pradesh this brings us to the end of the tata soul iconic northeast drive we are at bumla pass 15200 feet all the harriers and safaris have made it without skipping a beat and along the way we've had some crazy adventures some of the roads were washed out because of landslides and slushy roads and none of the cars skipped a beat anywhere this has been one epic adventure thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for our next adventure